Well, I have completely lost track of how many losses have occurred. So goodbye curse, get it only. Is it finding it very difficult to beat every stage with every character? Need too many levels. And a weapon that has actual damage. Hey, look at that. Single digit damage against dust elementals. The worst enemy in the game. Probably should have banished the racer. I duplicate her off of that. Uh, yep, I tried it with Curse a bunch of times, and none of them got through. He broke the streak, and he broke the victories. Uh, he failed more times than they succeeded. That's how bad it got. I tried Oogaloo. I tried Lost and Found Painting. Nothing worked. They just... When they're not dying in a single hit, just the sheer amount of them, it adds up. It's really hard to maneuver when you only have two directions as well. Uh, da, 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 da. But now that I'm basically in easy baby mode again, it shouldn't be a problem. See, even with me being really dumb about sitting near these dang pods, it's fine. Oh, rosaried. I even had a starburst to make it worse. Is that me they bole blue? Blue and all over the map. Oh well. Let's see. Shop and video titles. Gavadoni's curse free run. Gavadoni's cursed look. Gavadoni's uncharmed ch life. Gavadoni's uncursed life. Cap a time with Gavadoni. Man, they do no damage without curse on. It's honestly kind of crazy how weaker they all are. I had one run that actually managed to make it to the evolution, and I used up all of my rerolls before I could pick up Awake. And I lost because of update oh, spinach. And I still lost because I didn't have Awake. Even if I had Awake, it probably would have been a loss because I wasn't even 20 minutes that I made it to. So yeah, this weapon is terrible for a solo. Oh. Crown and Tronus box, of course. And amount plus is great if you can actually level up high enough to get it. But at the start, there's nothing. Nothing but downsides. Get that spinach. Right now I just need crown and I can... Yep, another pod thingy. Like before, with Curse, they were top to bottom much faster and actually hurt. Now I can basically just stand here and they die. I don't even have spinach and Toronto's box up and they still go down in a single bole blue. They took multiple ones. They needed to be in there for like seconds to get taken care of. It's crazy how much just 50% increase to your stats helped them. Even when their stats are that low, it completely changed the paradigm of how this was playing. Now I'm lazy, and I don't have to do anything. I've basically already won. And yet, it will still be easier than Romba on the Bone Zone. Or still less agony than Romba on the Bone Zone without both Curse and Charm. Because as bad as this is, it isn't Romba. Corelo is just that bad. Corelo doesn't fit in with anything. This weapon, in its evolution, you just need something else on the back end. And Gavit only can power it up. You know, he actually has the better version of all the monster stuff because he gets an additional amount. Others do not. See, I would have totally taken damage there if I didn't have Curse charmed off. Or turned off, as the correct pronunciation would be. Why are they still there? NFT. Oh, I need 
need a crown, right? Is that the blue maxed out? That is the blue maxed out. Okay, how many empty tomes am I looking at? Five, that's quite, or four, that's quite a maximum amount. No. Oh. Let's get all the XP I can set up. Then use this one to push over to the empty tome. Gotta get a vacuum or a red gem at one point. There's my crown, now I can grab the empty tomes and the metaglio. I was able to take out two of the Atlanteans when I had the evolution weapon on the one run that actually went anywhere. Nothing else made it to ten. That's how bad it was. There was the first of the tomes. The first, but not hopefully the last. I even still have my revive, which is nice, because usually it's gone by five minutes because of the dual hands. It's just sometimes they slip through the bubble barrier. And it's really hard to tell because just the way the weapon works. It only get worse once it evolves. And also it doesn't freeze despite the fact that it hits them blue. Hats also doesn't freeze which is why hats is one of the worst weapons. And I'd almost prefer hats. Well, hats is not good in any case. This one is good once you get actually evolve it and have other weapons on the back end. But it's definitely not a oh I solo it effortlessly like a lot of other characters or weapons. Oh, do I have Spellbinder Max? I do good. I can evolve it once I peek down the boss here. And then you can see how silly it gets. Yep, some big hit me. One of them must have exploded in me. Oh, and there's the Arcana chest as well. I don't want to go near the Atlanteans until I have the evolution. It's too dangerous. Where did it go? Man, it's hard to spot it. Oh. Too many. It's really hard to see what's going on with this weapon. That's another thing. Uh-oh. Like, I had no idea what actually took me out when I had the evolution. Might have been a sassy witch. I'm not sure. I think there's a... Boss is taking me out again. I can't tell, because I can't see anything. Oh, dodged the... Minotaurs. There's another boss. All right, it's gonna clear it. Okay, that's much better. It's an actual weapon now. Uh-oh. I didn't want that storm. Dang it, right as I was about to grab other stuff. Oh, hey, that was timely. Kana. Heck, I need a wake now. So nothing else I get the benefit of is to getting Bulu or Lost and Found Painting later is not particularly helpful. Yes, Sir Bonde on the last one. There's no synergy, but, well, pathetic characters need as much help as they can get. Wait, I should go to the other Atlantean and start NFT it up, too. See, this looks good now, but as soon as there are more enemies on screen that can actually take a hit, you know, like if I had Curse up, it would do basically nothing. Still, as long as there's another weapon to pair with, it's going to be much better, huh? Alright, let's see whose bubbles are better, ground or mine or yours.
Well, come on screen so I can hit you, jeez. Okay, it seems to fire at the closest enemy when you evolve it, whereas it's pretty random normally when it's melee bully bluing. As opposed to whatever this is. I'm sure I had the name. Yep, they went down no time. And it's silver ringing up. I mean, they get bigger, right? It'd be really weird if they didn't. This would not be a weapon I would remotely say doesn't get benefit from Candle Operator, but things can be weird. See, look, even the regular witches are getting in close. Way too close, considering. Bye-bye, Drowner. Looks like my bubbles were superior. Charging through now, but look how bad it gets. If I take even the slightest bit of risk. Oh, yep. Definitely a low-tier character on my inevitable tier list. Oh, yeah. Obviously, like I said, much, much better with other weapons, but it has a Silent Old Sanctuary power. Very weak. No strength here. Just weakness. Oh, Bat Wave. Thank you, random events. Thank you so much for bats. They're much easier to fight than the witches. And give the same XP, I think, probably, maybe. I can save the chest just in case I get a random event that adds something on. It's not like I need it. No. Also, I could get Disco a gold. Hmm. It has potential. Disco a gold? Rondo a gold? Man, why do I keep forgetting this? Oh, that was a nice amount of levels. Look at the sea go! If it was only this big all the time, it'd be no problem. But it's not, and it never will be. Oops, Starburst. Yeah, can you tell where the enemies are? I can't. Uh, I managed to take down this guy. It was when the sassy witches started spawning in. That got really bad. Okay, it's okay for now, but now we're getting into the danger part. Oh wait, did I actually get to the second Arcana? On the other run? Yeah, look, what even hit me? I have no idea. Maybe the boss, maybe the Arcana Bat. But because the bubbles, for some reason, are beneath the sprites, or are above the sprites of enemies, it's hard to tell. Well, the damage numbers don't help, but they wouldn't really... See? Yep, here's the sap sassy witches. And I'm hurt bad. Uh, Sarabande it is. All the way at the end. I have my damage maxed out. They're still getting through. Hey, there's very little more I could do other than be higher level. And that is not really something easy to do when you do no damage. Seriously, I'm at 23 minutes and it's still hitting for double digit with crits and stuff. No, I don't know if it is crit, but could be. What is this? Why is there a small bat glowing bat? Weird. I don't know. I mean, it's firing out endlessly, right? Yeah, it's not like getting distracted by the hit limit or anything. Hmm, maybe I should have just wedged myself against the bookcase. Yeah, this might be better since it messes with how the bubble's set up. It might make me safer overall. Well, let's try it out. 
And obviously, if inlaid library, the you know easiest of the primary levels is causing this much issue, dairy plant is gonna be even worse. In fact, there's quite literally nothing I can do about the giant robot waves at the end, other than fail with awake. Well, that's a tier G Su running. And probably a hollow heart and an and Pomrola too. I will need everything I can get. What even hit me? Can you tell what hit me? Because I can't. I don't think it was the boss. I mean, it could have been. But I think they're a bit too far too back. Like I might have to turn off Charm just to get through Dairy Plant. The numbers at the end are too ridiculous. At least I don't have to go Divine Bloodline, Heart of Fire like our, like a uh, Ramba did. That's just how weak he is that he had to use that, and it still failed miserably. A few times off camera. Still got hit. Okay, so let's think about Dairy Plant. It's gonna be hard. Candle Operator work can be switched out for Tier Jisu to maximize awake. Uh oh. Uh, for defenses, I have to have Spellbinder. You know, this is going terribly. Yep, look at all these bubbles going out. It's still not enough. Maybe they do get frozen. It's hard to tell. Oh, Melise. I am literally going to be saved by Melise. And that's how bad Gavet only is on a single weapon playthrough. Rosary Hand Death. The sweet release of death. Oh, that took way, way, way too long. Look at that. Only 48 million and it feels like one. That's the first of the failures done. Stay tuned for the second.